Hi, I'm Rabbi Daniel Lappin, and uh, I love the questions you send in to uh, my website. I learn so much from them. Here's a great one. What do you, as a Bible-believing rabbi, say about a female rabbi and congregation in Huntsville, Alabama, allowing same-sex marriage at the oldest synagogue in the state? And this is from Sharon. Uh, Sharon, thank you very much indeed for asking that question because it gives me an opportunity uh, to give you a little bit of information about how things work in the Jewish community a little bit and, um, and to perhaps clarify some misconceptions. Um, look, uh, when somebody labels themselves as Jewish, it doesn't really tell you much about their belief system. Um, unfortunately, that is a reality. I wish it wasn't so, but that is a reality. What do I mean by that? In general, my experience with my many Christian brothers and sisters is that when somebody becomes a Christian, that really speaks to their belief system. Somebody purposefully and deliberately accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I think, I think that's the a defining principle. Um, that's my understanding at any rate. Um, and so if somebody says to me, uh, I am a Christian, then I take it as a given that that person is Bible believing and that their uh, vision of um, how human beings arrived on this planet, namely the good Lord created us in his image and put us here, is exactly the same as I would view those things as well. But when somebody says, I am Jewish, what it really means is that their mother was Jewish. It doesn't mean much more than that, or that they converted to Judaism and accepted Judaism. However, the problem is that unlike, to me, I think it would be an oxymoron, right? If somebody said to me, I'm a Christian atheist, I'd say, what? <laughs> it makes no sense. Unfortunately, uh, the world has many, many, many Jewish atheists. Uh, there, are, there are people who are, are quite well known. I mean, we can go back to Karl Marx, the, the founder of modern socialism in the 1800s. Uh, Karl Marx came from a family of Jewish atheists. And uh, there were many, many people like that. Ayn Rand, the author of Atlas Shrugged and uh, The Fountainhead, uh, was a Jewish atheist. The problem is that it doesn't actually um, specify your belief system. I wish it did, but it doesn't. And so you have different branches in Judaism. You have the Orthodox, which is Bible-believing and straight down the, the line. Uh, then you've got Reform at the other end of the spectrum. Now, Reform Judaism was started uh, only a 200 years ago about, approximately there, and in the United States even more recently than that, Reform Judaism rejected the Torah as the defining document of Judaism. The constitution of Judaism is the Bible. That's how I see it. I can't imagine any other way of seeing it. However, that's just because I am not a Reform rabbi. Uh, reform, reform as a movement does follow uh, the idea that people are the ultimate authority not God, not his book. In fact, uh, they won't even accept the definition of it being his book. And so really, you should do, if you run into Jews and you want to know whether a particular Jewish person is, is Bible-believing and serious in the way that you are Christian, one of the best questions you should ask yourself is, do you ask, not yourself, you should ask the person, do you believe that God gave his message to mankind through Moses on Mount Sinai. And if the person says no, then you know where you stand. And let me tell you one more thing. If the person's answer to you is, well, that means no also. And so uh, that there is a temple, there are plenty of temples around the country uh, where um, biblical laws are violated. They would not be orthodox synagogues. And generally, by the way, when the word temple is used as opposed to synagogue, that generally also means that it's likely to be reformed. Now, look, there are lots of lovely, lovely reformed Jews. There are plenty of people who subscribe to the reform movement, belong to a reform temple, and they're lovely, lovely people. I, I have many friends myself who are in that category. Um, however, 
their commitment is not to the God of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, what is it to? Well, essentially to the tenets of progressive politics. I mean, that's pretty much where things are, I'm afraid. So uh, wish, I wish this wasn't true. I wish I didn't have to tell you this. But you asked, and you're entitled to a genuine answer. Uh, that's it. And uh, I, I hope you'll keep those questions coming to me. I appreciate them. I'm Rabbi Daniel Lappin, and I wish you nothing but good times when it comes to your faith your family, your friendships, and your finances.